I'm John, and this would be Fred. Oh, Fred. You're Fred. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a fun episode for you who follow us. You know we've done uh, fortune cookies in the past. And this time we're going to do fortune cookies with a little bit of a twist. I was just going to say that. A little bit of a twist. Uh, there may be some good news, some bad news. There could be a winning lottery number in here. Why don't we start there? Okay. Uh, apparently, when Fred got these fortune cookies, which restaurant are we talking about? I went to a Chinese restaurant on uh, Valley Avenue in Winchester, right down the street from me. Okay. And I asked for, you know, um, fortune cookies that I want to buy. And she was curious. She, uh, in her broken English, but what I picked up from it was, you know, <laughs> what, why do you want just fortune cookies? And I, uh, I said, are you familiar with YouTube? She nodded her head. Uh, we do a YouTube station uh, program and we, uh, have done one video on reading fortune cookies before, and we're going to do a second. And she looked at me and she said, um, and this I did not miss. This was not broken English. She said, someone who um, got a, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, fortune cookie at their restaurant won the lottery. But we don't know whether they played the numbers on the back of the... I, we don't know. But we could give some YouTube fans a chance at winning the lottery. If we yes. Re- we're going to do some numbers. Well, uh, I, just just a sneak preview. What John was referring to when he said there's, we're going to do a twist on it today. You know, as we all know, Chinese fortune cookies, it's mostly either good news, hopeful news, you know, good things money. are going to happen. It's kind of money. like uh, reading your horoscope. You know, you're, it's, you're always, fall in love. it's always going to be you're going to find the love of your life or you're going to make a lot of money and be successful. We're going to throw in a little bit of our uh, uh, counter thoughts to uh, some of these uh, positive things. Now, having said that, there'll probably be some negative ones today. (laughs) Murphy's Law. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go first, Fred. Okay. Here we go. Oh, boy. Well, let's just tell the viewers straight off the lucky numbers for you lucky ones. 32, 13, 49, 51, 59, 10. Well, that's more than you usually play on the lottery, isn't it? You know, I've never played the lottery, so I have You've never no played idea. the lottery? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I've bought lottery tickets before up in Connecticut when they had the scratch four and okay. stuff like that. Okay. But I've never played the lottery where I said, I want these four or six numbers. So you're okay with scratch off. Yeah. But beyond that, yeah. nothing. But I haven't bought one in 40 years. 40 years. Say that softly. Yeah, right. So uh, 32, 13, 49, 51, 65, and 10. However, the fortune says, your greatest wisdom comes from life's disappointments. No, wait a minute. It actually says, your greatest wisdom comes from life's experiences. Now, I want Fred to take first go at this because he has a lot of life experiences in counseling. You know, he's a lifetime counselor for, what, 36, 37, 38 years? Uh, 32 years a counselor, 40 years in social work. Social work. So I think he would be good at his life experiences, your yeah. wisdom. Yeah. Um, boy, you really asked the $99,000 question, John. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's very apropos to ask me that question because clients typically, and I'm just as guilty at times, although as I age, I thank the Lord, I've grown in wisdom. (laughs) If I haven't by now, uh, uh, I should hang it up. Um, But a lot of young people and middle-aged people see failure in particular they see it catastrophically they see it as something that makes them inadequate Mm, um uh their life experiences uh that include you know things not working out they see quote the dark side of the moon Mm -hmm. um a lot of research 
and a lot of wise men and women over history, inventors, uh, you know, explorers, they said they most they learned the most from their mistakes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you, think, you think your wisdom has come from uh, largely from mistakes? Um, I read an article once that said we learn more from our mistakes than we do from our successes. Oh my gosh! And then um, why just aren't, why aren't I smart then? I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of wisdom, trust me. Um, but the story I like to tell, I'll make it real brief because we've got a lot to cover here, is um, Thomas Edison. You know, uh, he conducted a uh, thousand or more experiment, maybe two thousand. I, I can't mm, remember mm. Uh, exper exper uh, experiments in his attempt to invent the light bulb. Mm. And um, he said some funny things at the end of that. He said, um, I learned a thousand ways to not invent the light bulb. Um, but on the thousandth and one first time, he invented it. And then, but he also said something serious. He said, each time I did an experiment, I learned something else that then when I did the next experiment, drew me closer and closer to the uh, final outcome of when I was successful. I think I can park this one by saying, partly what you just said is, Fred, some of your wisdom, maybe some of your greatest wisdom has come from those you've helped. They have told you things. Yes. Just like Edison's experiments told him things mm -hmm. that made him wiser. Yes. So your profession has made you wiser. Oh, I, I often say that uh, sometimes I get back more than I give. There you go. That's All right, gang. Um, a cheerful letter or message is on its way to you. That'd be nice. Well, I got a letter from the IRS yesterday. <laughs> now that's our first twist. A letter is on its way to you from the IRS. <laughs> will it be good news or will it be bad news? Because oh, oh, let me take a guess. Uh, or as the old saying goes, I'll give you three guesses. Two don't count. Two don't count. If you get a letter from the IRS, Hold your breath. I'm going to do a Johnny Carson and a great car match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember watching some television in the last 12 months that said we have another 80,000 IRS agents. Is that correct? Did I, did you, have you heard that? No, I wish I didn't. I think, I think our government has hired another 80,000 IRS agents. So I think that would mean... Bad news. Uh, apparently, they have more beans to count. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> uh, one last thought on that, yeah. Fred, could be, uh, what if it's a letter from a lawyer you've never heard from? Uh, yes, that's the, uh, uh, well, it's always a possibility, but I, I'm not involved in anything that would cause a lawyer to call me. An inheritance? Maybe you've got an aunt that's oh, going to oh, give you a million dollars. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> or, like you said, maybe a letter from the IRS saying, you owe $50,000 in back taxes. <laughs> okay, next, YouTube fans, is prosperity is in your fortune. Take it away, Fred. Prosperity is in your fortune. Well, uh, typically prosperity means money. Mm. Uh, but you can prosper in more ways than one. Mm. Although uh, I know you and I talk about this a lot, you know, about finances and so on. And um, I am semi-retired, but would rather be retired fully. Uh, I'll welcome some prosperity and uh, the ability to retire and devote more time to our YouTube channel, my volunteer mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. my hobbies and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Um, could you handle it? Could you handle prosperity? I could because I'm a person who knows how to be content with little and mm -hmm. content with much. Uh, that's a line from the Bible. St. Paul said he learned how to be content. So whatever happens at this point in life i've given it all over to god would you are you on the same page same with that same page absolutely the same okay. page i couldn't be happier in life okay tonight let go of any fears and embrace your courage
Let go of any fears and embrace your courage. <clears throat> well, I had a few nightmares last night. You did? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think my courage went down the drain because I think I got up to go to the bathroom at least four or five times. That's one of the privileges of being my age, Fred. Yeah. That's a joke. You're supposed to laugh. I, I, I got up a lot of times to go to the bathroom. I didn't want to laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, actually, I didn't sleep well, quite frankly. I had some of the neck pain I've been telling you about, mm. and I couldn't get comfortable. I tried to sit up. I tried to lay flat. Mm. And so it's like, uh, maybe since this fortune says tonight, maybe tonight will be a better night yes. for me. Yes. Maybe that's why I got this fortune today to read. That's very timely. What do you think? I hope, I, I hope and pray that that's the case. So I'm going to let go of my fears and embrace my courage. I'll be a new man tomorrow. And bingo. Just to chime in, um, I'm, go uh, I'm trying to let go of my fears today in particular because last night, can't make the this up the timing of things mm -hmm. <clears throat> as we talked about before we went on film um very concerned about my oldest son's health both mental and physical had a mm -hmm. long conversation with him last night and i got some very sad news that a very dear friend of mine <clears throat> uh the wife well i'm friends with both of them the husband and wife very mm -hmm. very close and you know who i'm talking about yeah uh but she was just diagnosed with breast cancer Whoa. so trying to let go of my fears and bring it all to prayer and uh yeah as a physician i would hope that things will work out for her with a good treatment plan yes and that she'll have a 5 10 15 year long term yeah recovery that one was a bust it was uh it was chopped off i couldn't even read it so I'll go with one. maybe they made some chop suey with that one <laughs> <laughs> a surprise gift will bring you joy surprise gift i'm sorry i'm just not feeling it what what uh maybe we could put a twist on this one a surprise gift will bring you misery i think a no lot of, that's not a good one i think a lot of times money brings misery love brings misery it's not supposed to but love brings misery it, it, that's another counterintuitive thing. Uh, Love's supposed to bring fulfillment and joy yes, and pleasure. Yes. Mater Money's supposed to bring, you know, comfortability and. Uh, material things often bring misery. Yeah. By the way. And if you get a bigger house and a bigger castle, you've got more tax, more property insurance. Yeah. More work to do to keep it up. So I don't know. I mean, is that, you think that's true? Yeah, uh, actually, I was uh, um, sidetracked in my own mind. I was preoccupied in my own mind because I just read a quote by the actor Jim Carrey, the com comedian. Oh, yeah. I the think comedian. he's one. Of the, I think he's one of the funniest men, men in the world. And um, I'm going to botch the quote because I read this about a month ago, and I don't remember the exact wording. But he said something to the effect of. Uh, one thing I wish pe people would realize is that money, fame, and success does not bring happiness. Oh, uh, I know that very well. Yep. I shake hands on that. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, uh, we should say <clears throat> that Donald, Donald Sutherland died yes, he yesterday. Did. Yes, he did. We're he was still, 80, 88 years old. We're still in the month of June. Uh, my friends and I were talking about it last night. My friend... Uh, mixed up Donald with his son, Kiefer, Kiefer oh, yeah, Sutherland. Keith, he yeah, said, Fred, yeah. did you hear that Kiefer Sutherland died? And I said, he died? I, and, and he said, yeah, he was in his 80s. And I said, no, he's no, not. No, not Kiefer. And then he looked it up on the phone. And he said, oh, sorry, it was Donald Sutherland. And while we're on the subject, if you in our listening audience, Do Donald Sutherland was in a lot of movies. Oh, I love Ma and, MASH. was a fantastic episode. Oh, and he was a great actor. But one of my favorite movies he was in it's a serious and quite sad movie but it also has an uplifting side it's oh it's been around a long time ordinary people ordinary people 
with Donald Sutherland, Mary Tyler Moore. Fred is making a recommendation to you fans. Ordinary People with Donald Sutherland. It's an oldie, but it's well worth watching. Not an oldie in the sense of, you know, the old black and white films, but it's been around a long time. Great film. Embrace it. Check it out. Okay, next is Your Luck Will Bring You Peace and Tranquility. <laughs> Your Luck Will Bring You Peace and Constipation? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, your luck will bring you alcoholism. I mean, I mean, I don't know what kind of peace. It isn't going to be world peace. I know that, right? Oh uh, no, it's not going to be world peace. I'm just hoping for some peace in America. Although, no, I, I, uh, I, I pray every day for peace in the, uh, all the different parts of the world that are being torn apart by uh, hor horrible war. But um, I'm glad you threw in the twist because. Uh, this just makes me laugh, you know. These things are all pie in the sky. Everything's going to work out just fine. There's and no, we know that that's not life. There's no luck. There's no luck in life. Well, from a Christian point of view, you know, what did Jesus promise us? A cross. Correct. Um, Burdens. In the, in, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. But he said, you're going to have tribulation. <clears throat> Life can be short and unexpected. Enjoy life to its fullest every day. Now, that's something I can sign on to. Take it away. Yeah. Life can be short and unexpected. Enjoy life to its fullest every day. I told you that last night, got the news that my friend uh, has breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And, we, and uh, also, my son is in a health crisis right now. And we got to talking. And, and, um, my friend was asking me about um, uh, f my family medical history. And uh, on my father's side of the family, a lot of early deaths from cancer. 27-year-old mm. uh, cousin Allison, uh, back in 1989, died of an inoperable brain tumor. Oh, my 39-year-old yeah. nephew died of lung cancer. I've had aunts that have died in their 40s. I've had other cousins, you know, die in their 30s and 40s and 50s. <clears throat> and uh, so enjoy every day you got because you never know what you, when your number is up. <clears throat> Conversely, my mother, who thought she would never live past 50 because she was very sickly as a child, mm -hmm. missed a lot of school. Mm -hmm. Her mother died in her mid 40s and she, she took after her mother in terms of illness. And she said, I never thought I'd live past 50. She lived till 90. So, uh, you know, it, the world's upside down. Look at us, Fred. That also, uh, I'm going to interpret it this way, too. Between the two of us, there's almost 150 years of age. So we've already gone past early death. Yes. And midlife. We death. can no longer die young. And we can no longer. <laughs> you are so wise. I can't believe it. You didn't read that on. <laughs> On a fortune cookie, did you? <laughs> oh, you're... oh um, Billy Joel has a song. Only the good die uh, young. Yeah, only the good die young. All right, next is uh, Today's Compassion Will Make the World a Better Place. Oh, my gosh, I don't think that's true. Today's Compassion Will Make the World a Better Place. Why don't you think it's true? Oh, so uh, does that mean that TikTok, Facebook... Uh, cell phones are making the world a better place. They're going to outlaw cell phones in Los Angeles school district for, for school kids. Didn't that say compassion is going yeah, to Yeah, compassion. Today's compassion will make... Oh, I got the word wrong. Today's compassion will make the world a better place. But what's the negative to that? Cruelty. Today's cruelty will make the world a worse place. Indeed. Oh, and there's a lot of that going around. Oh, we have a Ukraine war. We have Palestine and Hamas in a war and, and Israel. Israel. And we have... Oh boy. We have a fractured uh, country that we live in with a lot of hostility. Uh, the, 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 you know, research is showing that America gets more and more polarized almost every election. Yes, and actually I've seen some data that shows 
younger Americans are not as happy as older Americans, and there's, yeah. a, there's a bigger gap between yeah. between older and younger. Our, our next episode on loneliness is going to show that uh, loneliness um, is highest. Uh, chronic chronic loneliness is highest in the age group of. 18 to, I want to say 25 ish. I think it's in the 30s. Oh, it's in the 30s? Yeah. Okay. What's that? Cultivate a sense of beauty in your surroundings. This is perfectly suited and apropos that I opened this one because as I, I'm, my saying goes, I don't know if I ever said this to you before, but you won't be surprised by it. I have always, since I was a kid, I've always loved beauty in all of its many forms, mm. whether it's in the, the natural world, mm -hmm. whether it's in music, mm -hmm. whether it's in art, whether it's in people, people who have genuinely good hearts, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in, you know, my faith, um, you know, God is the author of beauty. He's the oh, author, like, and the like creator that. of life. I like that. I you like know? That. So uh, you've seen my flower garden. Oh, I was I was afraid you weren't going to mention your flower garden. He has a beautiful flower garden. It's the epitome of the approach to your house. And I, I don't mean this in a boastful sense because these words didn't come from my lips. But uh, I have my counseling office in my home. So clients come to my counseling office. And they sometimes come a little early and sit on my front porch. I have a very nice covered front porch. And uh, about 10 minutes before a session was going to begin, I noticed one of my counselees who was scheduled for um, session. And she was out there and she was looking at my garden. And I just watched her. <laughs> she was looking at it very intently, going from flower to flower to flower. And I have a gazillion flowers out there. And I came out to collect her for the session. She turns to me and she says, Freddie, you know what I see when I look at your garden? What? What did she say? You. Oh. It was so... Oh, a tribute. I almost, I almost a tribute. Started, I almost started crying. A tribute to you. I almost started crying. Well, that's it is a tribute to you, Fred. And I'll oh. tell you another thing. I think people who come to see you because of your profession, that's a great introduction to nature and on a sunny day it's so lively and friendly yes. and if they have uncovered some difficult material or difficult things they've struggled with that mm -hmm. you've talked with them about when they leave they enter again into this yeah beautiful spot yeah. yeah wow that's good i like we're, that. we're almost done folks don't panic don't panic and don't and don't uh, shut it off. The lucky I numbers are 38, 42, 20. With the numbers again. <laughs> 23, 48, 26. And remember, if you win any amount of money in any lottery by playing these numbers. You got to share part of it. Fred and John talk. Yes, just put it in our, our, our account. YouTube. Direct deposit. Now, here's something else, Fred. I haven't seen this before on the back of a fortune cookie. It says, um, the fortune says, learn Chinese, and the word is salt. And it has the word there in Chinese, but I don't know how you say that. Is that yan? I have no idea. So we don't. They're telling you to learn the word that means salt? Correct. That's your favorite word. Salt. Salt. Fred, you add. Oh, salt. I'm sorry. You add salt to coffee. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a salt. I'm a salt freak. He adds salt to coffee. He he puts salt. Ah, <laughs> uh, he puts salt in everything. My friends, like John and his wife Brenda, and other friends who have me over for dinner, or lunch, uh, and they don't put salt and pepper on the table because you know a lot of salt isn't good for you. Yeah. When they know I'm coming, the salt and pepper shakers are out on the table. That's having good friends. Because if you don't, he goes to the cupboard and gets it out. <laughs> I haven't read the fortune yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Your financial investments will yield great rewards. Well, I did you hear good news yesterday? You said you were talking to your financial planner yesterday. So this is the day after the financial planner conference. Right. 
Yeah. You did. You did arrive today for the video smiling. So I don't. Does that mean? <laughs> does that mean you're worth two cents more or two cents less? Yeah, that's about it. That's about all I'm worth. But I want to focus on you. I'll, I'll answer your question, then I want to focus on you. Uh, yesterday, uh, my financial planner, who you you referred me to, Andrew, mm -hmm. um, yesterday was the first time I ever had a lengthy conversation with him that I completely followed. Oh, because okay. oftentimes he talks over my head, and yesterday I understood every single bit of it, and all of it gave me hope. And so, yes, there was some good news uh, about a new strategy that we in, uh, instituted. I, I actually, by the end of the day yesterday, I instituted the new strategy. Mm -hmm. But you're part of an investment group. And I've all, often mm -hmm. asked you, yes. how's that going? Our investment group, I think we had our meeting just a couple of days ago. We're up 20 odd percent year to end from january to the present time we're up about 20 percent and we're doing better than the s p great and 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 better than the better than the dow so yeah we're up but we have some old solid holdings too okay so i guess uh financial investments can yield great rewards yes you have to they agree can. with that one yes they can follow your ambition ambitions they hold the key to your future well, this is a little outdated. Um, I feel like uh, at this point in my life and being semi-retired and winding down, I would work six days a month. Next year, I'm hoping to work four days a month. Uh, I did follow my ambitions uh, and they weren't, you know, um, materialistic or focused on money, although I, although I enjoyed a good lucrative career. Um, I feel like I followed and fulfilled um, the plan and the dream God dreamed for me, and that was to be a healer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think I can share that with you too, Fred. I became a healer as well uh, as a physician doing obstetrics and gynecology, delivering babies, and I would never trade that for anything in the world. I know. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for my children. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I, I loved my work, loved dealing with couples and especially women. Women are a very unique and wonderful group of individuals to work with. God saved the best for last is my saying. He <laughs> created women last. <laughs> I love women. They're, they're so much fun. Uh, so, yeah, I think if you follow your ambitions, uh, you can have peace and happiness and uh, feel fulfilled in life. You don't have to have money. Don't have to have excessive amounts of it. No. Is so, it... Fred, I think we've only got a couple more. Um, let me see what this one says. Um, learn Chinese. I like. Do we really care? No. You're not going to want to learn Chinese? We had a saying when I was a teenager, when a person was talking about something that, or complaining, we'd yeah. say, ask me if I care. <laughs> and wasn't there also as if, as if I care? As, as if, if I, as if I care. As if. All right. This one says, uh, pay attention an opportunity will knock on your door. Oh my goodness. Pay I think attention. I hear a knock now. Pay attention an opportunity will knock on your door. Let me tell you something, Fred, at my age, I don't hear knocks on the door. That's why I have a doorbell. <laughs> you have to have a doorbell. You have hearing aids. You've got to have a doorbell. I know. Yeah. And that's baloney, right? Yeah. And just because it says an opportunity, it's probably going to be a salesman. I mean, do you remember the Electrolux man? I do. And lady? Do you remember the Fuller Brush man? I do. You know, I actually did some Fuller Brush. Did you really? Door to door. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you remember the Avon lady? She came to your house too. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I had a good friend whose mother was an Avon lady. Does the name Avon lady ring a bell? Oh my, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my mother was a Tupperware sales person. Oh, really? Yeah, she sold door Tupperware. Door. And <laughs> then, of course, you got people knocking on your door trying to convert you to their religion. Yes, that's yeah. true. We, it doesn't work very well I, in our household. 
Well, no, it doesn't work well in my household either. But back in the day, I used to, you know, be, um, how should I say? Not tactful. That's not the word I want. I, receptive. I, I would spend a little time talking to them just because they went through the trouble. But I would o- always tell them, I'm, I'm a devout Catholic, you know, and I'm not going anywhere. I will tell you a brief story. Whenever we moved, Fred, from Snowden Bridge into Winchester City, remember I told you the Church of Latter-day Saints, how these boys came along and helped? They were, they were champions. I remember I'm, that. I'm telling you, they offered, they offered to come uh, and help pack, wrap things. They loaded pods. It was huh. in four hours, they virtually cleared out the whole townhouse. It was just a, it was an act of love. It really they, was. They are people of, of service. They are yeah. service. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's your, um, all right. Your turn, mate. Last one. Last one. Any mm. lucky numbers there? Oh, 48. 53, 25, 4, 31, 21. Hmm. But then it says this, and how serendipitous. I'm listening. Learn Chinese. See you next time. Really? Learn how to say, see you next time in Chinese. Oh, that's like sayonara? No, we couldn't have planned that. Is sayonara Japanese? Oh, sayonara. I, that, th- I think Sarah and I was goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. But we'll stretch it into see you next time. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. It's a wrap. Uh, this was fun. We love doing fortune cookies, and we hope you'll like these episodes. We like doing YouTube. Please tell your friends. Uh, log on. Subscribe. Uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, we have a lot of other videos about a lot of other topics, and we we hope you'll follow us. We really we really have a good time. We have a, a blast. That's a wrap. All right. Thanks, Fred. It should be against the law to have this much yeah, fun. Yeah, it should be, but it isn't. We're in Virginia. <laughs> Virginia's for lovers. 